Hey, what's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. You may be wondering, where are you? This is not a Tulsa course. You would in fact be correct. We are actually out here at Jay Beast here in Northwest Arkansas. I came out here today really to prove that uh, Nate Turner is not the only one that can shred Arkansas courses. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. I'm out here with Timmy Two Trees, the one and only. So we'll see him here in just a minute too. All right, we're gonna start with hole four because it's a little busy out here today. 369 foot par three, straight down there through the tunnel in the trees. We're gonna go straight at it. Prodigy H7, see if we can put it close. Turn. Oh. Midnight Proud 2. Oh, it's just piped. He came to play. That's a putt. All right, Arkansas course has already proven to be more difficult than I anticipated. Zone approach. Oh no. I'm not playing. I'm apparently not here to play disc golf today. I don't know what's going on. Camera got turned on. It's all nerves now. Trust the process. Take the solo lead. Oh, trust the rollaways. Still phased through all the trees somehow to have a putt like this. More than I deserve. I wonder if they can capitalize on the putt. I wonder if they can pick up my heavy breathing already. <laughs> I definitely was heavy breathing whenever you're trying to approach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Commit. Finish strong. Hi. How is that possible? It's all good. All right, hole five, 390 feet. No B. Just straight out there. Goes down quite a ways. And it comes back up. There's a lot of leaves, a lot of roots down there. You can't just slide. It's got to be pretty much an all air shot. If that gets any ground play at all, it should be pretty good. Yeah. That's about as good as I could throw that. Or maybe I'm in the 385 club now. Let's see if I can get this one. TT over here hyping himself up about a hole that's about 350 feet downhill. So we'll give it to him. I'll give don't, you the 385. Don't you take away my accomplishments. Hole six, our par three, 285 feet right out there in the second gap. Looks like you really want to push something straight as far as you can. I'm going to go buzz. Let's see if I can put it close. Oh, push through it. All right, that's a putt. That was weird wind bounce. That's about where I got, so you just got a worse kick. That's the Timmy Two Trees in effect right there. Simultaneously. No one squares them better than you, right? Mm -mm, nobody. If, if you think you square a tree until you start getting like 35 to 45 foot kick straight back, you're not squaring hard enough. <laughs> All right, not a made putt. Great layup. Go in. Oh, just to the left of it. What's up, you out, Timmy? Appreciate it. Oh, you actually put it in. No basket hit. Hole seven, our hole four, par three, 232 feet, plays up there right into the little gap in the tree line. Let's see if I can put something close. Skip. That should be pretty good. That's perfect. Push. Get past it. We're good. Ooh, looks like it should be good too. To me for another big birdie. Let's go. All right, hole eight, par three, 177 feet. Pretty much just right through this tunnel. Uh, don't need to necessarily go right at all, so we're just gonna forehand stand still through this gap oh god all right don't do that this hole is actually not 177 this hole is like 140 maybe and it's downhill i don't think i've ever done this before probably a reason but i'm gonna jump putt try Gap somehow hit, boys. works out better than mine you Gap actually hits, boys. have a putt take two p2 this time 
Oh God, it's take two again. That's a big putt. We're gonna dad putt this. There ain't no uncle about me. It's all dad putt stuff. Get in the basket. Mmm. Mm. That's a big birdie right there. Uh, what are you gonna say to all your fans? If I was playing with casual Cobb, I'd make him stare at this and look at it. But since we're playing a competitive round, I'll take it out for old Jakob. Oh. Oh boy. I don't know. Tim said it wasn't being casual Cobb right now, but I literally laced a backhand putter shot right after I messed up. Oh. <laughs> right after I messed up the forehand. I don't think I've ever taken a double bogey on a 177 foot hole. We're going to call it that because if it's 140, that's even more embarrassing. All right, this hole nine score update is Jacob is even. I am one under. This hole is 402 foot. Uh, it's every bit of 30 foot of elevation chain change downhill. Oh, I didn't do it. That's danger zone. Hmm. Might this have kicked out enough. Trouble. Oh, it's got to stable up. It's all right. I can get up and down from there. Oh, that is. Oh boy, that is uh, that is jail. Just trying to put it underneath the basket. Not really going for it. Oh. Yep. I can. I can make that one. Oh, if you get right here, you can still almost see that I still don't have a line. Did it go in? Who's the straddle putter, me or Noriega? About a third of the way through, hole 10, our hole seven, 600 feet, par four, plays right out there. This path right here, like cart path, I guess, not OB. Walking path over by the woods is OB. So really just send something out there as far as you can and then, then play your upshot, take your birdie if you can. Oh my God, be a Calvin. He called it. Well, that's OB. Oh brother. You might've went OB on the be other side. Be a cloud breaker. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> OB on the other side. What the deal? The headwind went away. Oh. Oh, he's OB again. <laughs> Wait, is that OB? <laughs> that's, that's left of the sidewalk. I could not have thrown that any better. Unless that stays OB. If you're local out here and this is incorrect, blame Timmy. But uh, I was told this is inbounds, so. I'm gonna take my strokes where I can get them. All right, cause we're scoring and I'm not playing casual cob. I know it sounds weird, but I'm gonna approach with a matrix. Cause there's a lot of roll away potential up there. Yasha. Juiced. She got me here. All right, hole 11, place uphill slightly, 270 foot par three, just right up there. I'm gonna go mid-range at it. It's definitely a fairway. Definitely a fairway. There's always a crosswind here, from my experience, so I'm gonna throw it way out there. Oh, that's too high. That'll work. It's too high. That's, uh, that's pretty parked. Do it. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Hole 12, 315 foot par three, plays out and to the left. Uh, I'm gonna go buzz and just rip on one, see if I can get it there. Nope. I am yanking today. Yankee Doodle, that's my theme song. I'm not sure if I should tell Jacob or not now, 
but there is an OB. It's very far left from the basket, and it's way downhill, but there's a cliff right next to the basket. Go in the basket. Oh man. Not really. It's either park or got caught. Oh, has he done it? Oh. All right, this is 215 feet. Downhill, maybe five feet. You've got kind of a flexi forehand or you've just got a gentle hyzer. All right, MD1, straight right side. Let it filter on over there a little bit. About like that. Oh, Ooh, big skip. Of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> Let's go. Nastiest thumber player you've ever seen. Gotta make the putt for the two though. You get one back on the board. This course is actually destroying me. Do it. Oh my gosh, Jacob. Don't undercommit. You might get one little twiggle. Put it in there. Oh, where's the wind? <laughs> the feeling you can make putt? Let's go. I actually thought that was about to spit through the back. I've been real disappointed, but it would have been about what it has been today, so. Hey, Jason, how are you doing today? <laughs> All right, Robbie. All right, 295, straight uphill, literally dead straight. There is a headwind. It's probably 15, 20 foot of elevation, but then the basket drops over the crest over the hill, settles down fairly flat up there. We're gonna throw an undertaker. We're not gonna schmooze it, we're gonna give it a full power treatment. Oh, that is definitely uh And I gave it the full treatment. Four? <laughs> four right there. Four with a question mark. Uh, uh, that might be the score you're taking. Gee, please. No, there's no way. Ah, I think it probably skipped thirty thousand feet to the left, and I'm on the other side of the planet. <laughs> Oh, let's go. <laughs> and that's why I would normally grab a mid-range. Oh my. It's all good. Our putt's been feeling great. Closer and... The wind just dropped that out of the air. <laughs> Roll away. No, I'm just joking. KJ? <laughs> Hole 15, 324 foot par three, plays right on that hillside right out there. Maybe slightly uphill, headwind. Oh, geez. I think I might've just passed the ditch, but not much further than that. The most overstable Avenger SS I've ever thrown in my life. Love this one. Here we go. Wow, working out pretty good. And you're probably in a better spot than I am. So I am slowly proving that not only can I not play Oklahoma courses, Arkansas courses are no different. So need to get some strokes back. It's right up there on the mound, it's forehand approach. Oh, set. All right, I'll make that putt. We gonna dad putt this? Let's go. <laughs> All right, dead putt means you're parked. Bang. A good putt went in finally. These are the testers for amateurs. All right, I'm just going to casually throw this one in real quick. You have to have confidence and bang the putt. Tie ball game now, boys. I haven't made my putt yet. All right, hole 16, probably the coolest hole out here. 360 foot par three. Pretty much plays, I don't know, 40, 50 feet downhill. Down there past the creek that plays OB. I'm gonna give it a little forehand rip with the tailwind, left to right. Oh, you've done it. Go in. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I am barely in Let's bounds. go. 
through downhill. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Get over. Go in the street. <laughs> I'm huge. <laughs> ah! Oh, that ain't it. <laughs> okay, good. I barely wanted to get it though. Something just so frustrating about barely putting it in the basket. <laughs> All right, hole 17, par four, 537 foot plays out there. There's a mando in the tree out there, but usually I don't think that's gonna come into play. Uh, I'm just gonna try to juice something out there as far as I can. Bit of a headwind. It's turning. I think that's- Oh, he's mashed on him. Decent, decent. Nope, that ain't it. That's no different than a grace. All right, we're gonna channel the inner hole 10 again. Try to get froggy. Pretty low. So much hyzer. All right, it was always gonna be a four for me. <laughs> I don't really see like anything sticking out. I'm gonna go hyzer on the left side. Grass is kind of sticky, so I don't know if it's gonna skip for me, but I'm gonna try. Oh, get underneath the tree. I might be taking a 4-2. Let's see, was it a forehand? That was a forehand. Oh, he's done it, boys. Get all the way there. Boom. Yeah, I don't think you asked for a closer shot than that. Boom. Oh, he's pinned it. He's done it, folks. He's stayed within one. All right, hole 18, 250 foot par three, plays right out underneath those trees. Tricky part about this hole is you don't want to land on the hillside to have it roll down, so just got to get it up there underneath the basket. What's the chances he goes really deep? Very much so. <laughs> oh, I'm behind the tree behind the basket. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Told you. Timmy Choo Trees has two Timmy Twizzlers in front of his face. Yeah, not hit that thing or that thing. All right. Reset. Let's go. Let's go. Come up here and video this. Tim's putt fin made this tree act up. <laughs> Ooh. I don't think there's anybody better than me on a knee. Huh? That's a great way of wording it, Tim. <laughs> Strokes on, folks, boys. Oh, he's hit it. It's just trash. I'm just trash at disc golf. All right, since we started on hole four, we are now on hole one. We are rounding down right now, be with me and Jacob are even to ourselves. We're tied up, 230 foot par three. Tunnel, it can almost go straight. Oh, hit the gap. Or a tree. Ooh. Timmy, two trees hit one tree and the door is open. It means I but, have one uh, more tree to hit on this hole. You've been watching today. My forehand has been atrocious. So let's see what happens. Oh, yep, it's just as bad. How did I know he was gonna use the word of Actually, somehow ended up in like a good spot for a putt. All right, had a nasty putt, last hole. This one is not gonna be from a knee. This is very rocky, but there will be no doubt about this. This will be a full Cindy's. Not as close as I thought it was, but closer than I deserve. Probably like right outside or inside the circle. Let's see if I can put it in. Oh. And pray. Boom. Trust her. Always grabs. It's Tim a putter boy. We'll see. 
Nope. Stick to other things. <laughs> Ace run. Oh, a bit deep, actually. <clears throat> oh, let's go. <laughs> I think you need to just tap the basket. The chains didn't do anything for you. Hole three, our final hole, hole 18 for us. 205 feet, plays down this tunnel, then to the right at the end. Really, you can just throw it pretty straight if you want to. Uh, with a little finish at the end, and I've got a one-stroke lead going into the final hole. Turn. Say goodbye to that lead. Oh. oh I've done it again, boys. <laughs> Not really. Oh, I thought I hit the inside. <laughs> I've done it. Go in the basket. No. All right. As I mentioned to Tim, I am running this so i'm kind of in the way of the basket i'll try to get out of the way as soon as i throw it but uh this is the best angle i can get i'll do it oh to allow jacob to win by one Ooh. 